We are back with another one. Everyone hates Tesla. A hey, shout out to the VP, Trump's VP, JD Vance is in the building, advancing Elon and Tesla. See, we got to speak positivity, but you're always here for me. So hear it from someone else. Shout out to the next future VP and the big homie T, Trump in the building. But then at the end of the day, shout outs to Biden too, okay? So people who love Biden, look, uh, shout outs to you. Solving the money problem is going to have this conversation, but I think it's important because I couldn't find the video. So I want it to be shown here. So let's get it. Fair use, fair use to the big homie. Hey, J.D. Vance, a little bit of a hint at how this administration may view American innovation, manufacturing, entrepreneurship, business, and so on. Look, okay. Elon and I know each other a little bit, but yeah. Elon is actually a great example of an American entrepreneur who's yeah. built a company, but also a company that's employed a lot of good American workers. If you think about, you know, Elon Musk is in some ways a throwback to an older generation of American entrepreneur. He yeah. builds real things. He builds cars. He builds rockets. And that's, the, I think, the kind of economy that President Trump wants to create. Indeed. Now, contrast. Love it. Love it. And, you know, shout out to solving the money problem. He's going to get into it, too, also. But love it. This is what's important, guys. He creates products and services in the last video. I don't know if you saw the rise and fall of Elon Musk with a question mark, because I don't agree with that assumption. But what do I agree with? What this man just said. Shout out to the future VP of saying that Elon Musk is the old America, the entrepreneur that creates products that you can feel, touch, and see. And those products do tremendous things like SpaceX and like Tesla. So I'm going to allow sol solving the money problem to lay into it. But of course, guys, the jobs that are created being brought back to America, the most American company in America is Tesla, hands down, bar none. And the best-selling car in the world is the Model Y Tesla. Go ahead and get yourself a test drive today. Contrast this with the comments we've heard from the Biden administration. We've weaponized the Justice Department against Elon and a bunch of his different companies. A few years ago, Joe Biden, during a press conference, literally saying that it's worth investigating, looking into Elon Musk as if they might want to harass the guy, which we've seen a bunch of bullshit in the intervening years. Failure to recognize Tesla as a leader in terms of electric vehicles, gaslighting the American public, lying, suggesting GM let it matter, electrified the whole industry. You did it, Mary, I'm serious. You let it, get fucked. So an administration that is very business friendly wants manufacturing jobs in the United States. As a vice president who openly recognizes the incredible impact Elon Musk has had, building things in the United States, the jobs that have been created, the innovation that his companies have spurred, a formal endorsement of Donald Trump from Musk. This can't be anything but great for Tesla relative to the current situation in which the Biden administration has the official message that Elon bad. But uh, don't tell this to whoever electric.co is. Just after his huge stock grant, Elon Musk commits $45 million a month to harm electric vehicles. Reposted by somebody, I don't know, has anyone, who's SMR420, I don't know, who wrote, if anyone wondered what sound of a giant, formally endorsing Donald Trump for president, this is a great thing for Tesla and a neutral thing for electric vehicles. Unless, of course, you consider the fact that Tesla's literally leading the charge, pun intended, with electric vehicles. Therefore, it's actually a great thing for electric vehicles. It's highly likely we're going to see corporate tax rate cuts, making it even more compelling for companies like Tesla to manufacture more in the United States to scale up production. Exactly. More tax cuts, more incentives to allow America to come back, especially Tesla that's launching many operations and facilities inside the United States of America. There's nothing but good news allowing us to scale in Nevada, allowing us to scale in Texas. And we're going back home to Texas. I'm saying back home because that's our true home. So moving from Delaware, going down to Texas is a great thing. All great things for Tesla. And then also if this administration, whether it be Trump with JD, gets elected and becomes the president and the vice president, it would mean a great deal for Tesla shareholders and Tesla in the United States of America to be able to support those entrepreneurs that are on the ground bringing those jobs back. Remember, your complaint about offshoring, outsourcing, and all this other nonsense about taking our jobs to Asia, taking the jobs to Africa, and taking them away from the American people, well, this is something that Tesla just does not do. It has factories overseas. Please believe it. But it definitely has factories in the United States of America to actually provide cars and services and products to Americans. And whether it's the energy department or whether it's the transportation department, whether it's the insurance department, whether it's the auto bidder for the energy, or whether it's Norlink, boring companies to help us with our infrastructure, there's massive amounts of products and services made in America for Americans 
by Americans. And this is the greatest part. Also, you know, when you just look at a factory and you see the jobs that are created for those people who, are, you know, work at the factory, there's jobs that are created for businesses that work with those factories. And those are American suppliers, American vendors, American restaurants, American real estate. That also is a part of the added value that Tesla brings by relocating themselves in their headquarters or their facility inside those states and those cities. So there's so much growth and potential, but if we can have at least administration that's not slightly hostile to the entrepreneurs, specifically to Elon and to Tesla, then we can actually win this thing. Because you bet to believe your top dollar that China promotes, supports, and loves BYD, which is the leading EV creator in China. They don't say they should be looked into and all this other nonsense and coming at them from side angles and promote Neo over BYD when obviously it's BYD that are selling the majority of EVs and NVIDIA is barely getting off the ground. Production in the United States as opposed to doing it in Mexico, China, etc. Create more jobs, invest more heavily in technology. Remember, Tesla's scaling up lithium refinement, up and down the supply chain, completely vertically integrated everything, right? If a business friendly, manufacturing friendly administration who wants to create jobs, wants manufacturing, and the past track record regarding the economy. This is going to be great for Tesla, which is great because Tesla is a leader in terms of electric vehicles in the United States. Still today, Tesla. And see, this is the thing. This is why Tesla is so important because when you're looking at Apple, when you're looking at NVIDIA, these people are not, you know, attempting to get vertical integration, right? When it comes down to semiconductors, they're still going to be in Asia. They're still going to be in Taiwan. And that's not changing. But the vertical integration is good for Americans also to change our profit margins and be able to control the product and the price for overall goods and services. But at the end of the day, it also creates more jobs because once we vertically integrate, we're no longer getting batteries from CATL. We're no longer getting batteries from Samson. We're getting batteries because we make batteries inside of our facilities because we have the engineers, we have the manufacturer uh, manufacturing capacity to do it. So that's a good thing. Vertical integration, right? Not just buying batteries overseas and then just taking them and putting them in cars. No, we create the batteries now. Tesla's selling roughly half of all electric vehicles in the United States. You have to understand, folks, a lot of people, I just don't think, have the, say, intellectual capacity to pass statements from certain people in certain contexts. We've seen Donald Trump in the past pandering to voters in states and cities in regions where a lot of people are employed in the fossil fuel-based industry, trolling electric vehicles, joking about them not having enough range. The reason he's doing this is to allay fears that people who work in the fossil fuel industry have of governments mandating them out of a job, destroying their industries. The whole point is giving consumers freedom of choice. And when consumers have freedom of choice and the price of electric vehicles continues to come down over time, they will massively adopt them. You do not need to incentivize or otherwise. Listen to Orange Man Bad himself discussing Tesla and Elon Musk. And, by the and also, I agree that, you know, I definitely want the restrictions and limitations and a lack of free choice to be taken away. Allow the customers to choose, not make it mandatory. But, uh, you know, many people have been saying that from this side, but nobody listens. By the way, I'm, I'm a big fan of electric cars. I'm a fan of Elon. I like Elon, but, you know, I like him. And I think a lot of people are going to want to buy electric cars. But if you want to buy a different type of car, you're going to have a, you have to have a choice. I absolutely agree. Government should stay the fuck out of it. Because as I said, electric vehicles are already inevitable. It's going to happen. Tesla's entire mission early on, they told us exactly what they're going to do. They're going to make products that are so compelling that the obvious no-brainer of a choice is to buy the electric vehicle. And that's what they're doing. It's obvious. Now, of course, Trump is saying that, but what is Elon saying? Well, also, he shows a similar mindset. A Trump administration would be hugely positive for Tesla. That some people can't understand this. Look at the big picture. It's hard to comprehend how blind some people can be. How emotional and illogical. To recap, a Trump administration will be extremely supportive of Tesla. Not because they're specifically supportive of Tesla, but because Tesla is a huge employer, creates jobs, drives innovation, drives economic growth, is becoming one of the largest and most significant employers, not just in the United States, but in the world, as opposed to the Biden administration, which has been anti-Tesla, anti-Elon, Elon bad, and so on, is likely to fuel extreme economic growth, which helps all businesses, will level the playing field and remove unnecessary EV incentives, most likely, will give consumers the choice, and consumers will increasingly make the obvious choice as the price of electric vehicles continues to come down, more consumers buy them, less ice sales. A Trump administration isn't extremely corrupt in the pocket of the United Auto Workers Union, Hence, the Biden. Yeah, definitely. There might be some stuff going there, but let me not even go into that conspiracy unless I have proof. But what I will say is definitely incentives should be something that scares us as 
Tesla shareholders. We don't have incentives given out from the government and the tax credit and the limitations and mandates. Okay, cool. We'll get busy because at the end of the day, we do good business. We create good products and services and the people shall follow. And also this is with no marketing. We've been able to be the best-selling vehicle in the world with zero marketing and advertising. Biden administration, stealing Tesla's fellow, claiming GM led meta. In short, Orange Man bad. As president, huge win for Tesla. And in a miraculous, shocking turn of events, it seems that Elon Musk and I are on the same page regarding the $7,500 electric vehicle tax incentive. Musk posting this, take away the subsidies. It will only help Tesla. Also, remove subsidies from all industries. Fancy that. If I didn't know any better, I might think that Elon Musk believes that Companies should produce products that stand on their own two feet and have enough merit and are compelling enough that consumers want to buy them because they're the best choice as opposed to the government fucking around and messing with industries and subsidizing one technology or not another. Completely agree with this, okay? I want you to stay the fuck out of it. Let businesses do what they do. Companies do what they do. Create compelling products and let it sort itself out, which, as I said, it's already happening. Remember, half of all new vehicles sold in China last month were electric. We're going to see that same thing play out globally with a slight delay. Want more content? Early access? Great channel. You guys can go check out Solving the Money Problem. In my early days, and still today, I listen to the guy. The guy is great. He's out here providing great information. There's a lot of people providing great information about Tesla. You could always just go check out their information. Me, I provide a perspective also. I like to go into the details about certain types of products and services so investors can know about them. And then there's other people who keep up with the headlines, keep up with the mainstream media, because we got to produce our own content and produce our own narratives. Because if you're not doing it, they're definitely going to do it. If you're not programming, you will be programmed. If you're not watching the information you take in, someone else is putting in information so you can take in. So net net, you just got to protect yourself at all times, just like they tell you in boxing. Protect yourself at all times. Be ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. All right. Like, share, subscribe. Everyone loves to hate Tesla. Also hit the notification bell. So when these good hot fire videos come out, you'll continue to get them. If you need any more information, let me know. Holler at me. I'm the one and only, the big homie. Obstacles are opportunity. Let's get it.